Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have another Shein haul for you. This one is householdy stuff and stuff for my cats, which I'm super excited for because I always like getting them presents. All right, we'll start with the very beginning. I've been wanting one of these. This is a food chopper slicer situation. Now, I'm not allowed to use mandolins anymore because I about sliced my finger off. So we won't be using the mandolin portion or certainly not without the safety on it. Um, but this chops your vegetables for you to make a good chopped salad, which I love. And I've been wanting to try one of these. So um, it's really cool. It does have the safety that I should have been using before I chopped my finger off. I didn't chop my finger off. I sliced I slice the pad of my finger. Um, so this does have, so you can grate like cheese or whatever. It doesn't have to be slicey. It's gravy. Um, and it comes with all kinds of different slicer blades for the um, mandolin portion. So this is a twofer. So you can slice your vegetables, shred things. This is the one that will slice your hand off. Um, crinkle cut, regular, you can do all the different things. So all of these, you get one, two, three, four, five different slicing heads. And then, we'll open this up. You're supposed to use this. And it goes in here. Right, and you put your food and your vegetable and you slice it across. That's the mandolin portion. This has some very sharp teeth in here. Let me see if you can see it, there you go. That will grab your fruit or vegetable and hold on to it or cheese or whatever. So you can, oops, yeah, right like that. So you can slice it if you choose to use the mandolin portion. Then, I don't know what this is for, but I don't, I don't know. Citrus maybe? questionable um same thing with this I, maybe oh that's probably to clean out your tines so you can clean it out and then you get the food chopper portion oh that's probably clean Oop, let's not cut ourselves to clean this out yeah that'll clean out that portion and then you get two sizes of the cutting blade depending on what size you would like to cut um also what i liked about this one differently is in the receiving bowl you can have it drop into a like a sieve so your vegetables drop in here and if they water or anything you can take it out but everything fits down in here except for the cutter or the mandolin piece I haven't washed it yet for storage. And then this just goes on like that. And then this can sit right in here. So we grab that, which I think is a lot of fun for me anyway. Trash. Okay, we'll just take one of these bags because I will show you my next item. I am wanting to do my litter box room, which is my half bath because I will be going on vacation and yeah. So I grabbed a little trash can, has the foot thing that will lift this up, but also you can just lift up part of it if you wanna use your hand, which I like. This comes out, so you put your trash bag or grocery bag or whatever around here. And then for me, if I scoop, I can just scoop into it. And I've been collecting all of my little trash bags, grocery bags to put in there. And then I would just put the bags in here. When I scoop, it can go right in here when I'm ready to throw it away. But I think this is a great size for a bathroom, for an office. I like the lid. It keeps the kind of the stinky down. And I like that I can use the foot or the hand. And it's great. And it comes pretty much already put together. So I got that for the cats. I grabbed a new bag because my other one was collapsing. However, I don't know if Alex will fit in here. He's kind of a big boy. But Wellington definitely will. 
I like that you have your hand wrap here at the top. You have your drop them in hole that opens up. There is a shoulder strap that comes with it and then your bottom. The bottom is a little not solid. So I think what I'm gonna do is measure this and cut a piece of cardboard or corrugated plastic or something to go in the bottom and then put this on top and then I'll put like a blanket or something just because I feel like it's not really sturdy enough to hold any weight. Wellington only weighs 10 pounds, but I just don't feel like, I feel like it's just gonna bend in at the bottom. And that's on the inside. And then you have, of course, your pot, your air holes on either side. You can front load into here. That's where it hold, you know, your strap goes. You can put treats or something. Um, my other bag that I like, this whole thing lays down for them to climb in and out of, but it's fine. And then here's on the other end where your strap goes. Yeah, and then you have a little side window here if you want to open it up. Oops. And let them, well, mine would get out that hole. But if you had a dog, a small dog or something, they may not. But yeah, it's nice. It feels like, um, oh, and there's also, sorry, a pocket over here to go on your luggage, like a trolley sleeve. So if you're flying or traveling with your pet, this will slide over your luggage and it will sit on top so you can just roll them through the airport and then they have that support, which I think is fantastic. So I needed a new carrier. My other one is kind of broken and... Yeah, I don't plan on flying with them, but for 100% taking them to the vet. All right, and speaking of my cats, um, I got this cat bed and I'm dying. This smells a little weird, not gonna lie. I don't know if that's like straw in there, or maybe catnip, not sure. In the picture, it's definitely in a better position because they swooshed it to mail it to me, but it's still adorable. And look at the tail toy. I'm gonna put it in the window and then put their bed inside. I'm not sure if I'll leave this one. It just smells weird, but it's a cat bed and it's made out of rope, different kinds of rope. Like the top is cotton rope and then this is more of a rough rope. And then this is where it's attached, but I love it. And it has little ears. I just need it to like kind of shape up a little better because I think it was in a good shape when they got it and then they sent it to me folded flat, which I think was weird, but that's okay. If I didn't mention, everything is in the description box below. Okay, nose itches. I got, um, oh, let's do the last thing I got for the cat. Yeah, let's do the last thing I got for the kitty cats. Um, this is an extra large, friends, this is no extra large. I was gonna try the stainless steel or the metal litter pan, but this is so small, I don't think it's gonna work. It says extra large. Um, this would be great for a kitten rescue. So I probably will pass it along to uh, my local animal shelter or cat rescue or somebody that fosters kittens because I think this would be a great kitten pan but it's just not going to be big enough for my boys they're large fully grown if you will but I really I still want to try one so I'll probably purchase it um oh and then I got for va for vacation I hit the button I had that other one if you saw my video at, from the dollar spot at Target, the fan, but I think it's gonna be too big for my luggage. So I ordered this one. It is rechargeable, which I can just plug in. It's a black cat fan. This thing is strong. One, that's three. I mean, I think this is fantastic for my hotel room. It makes a good enough sound and it comes with a base. So I can put it on my nightstand. I just like to feel the air and hear the noise and this will be perfect. Also on an airplane. Um, I can put it in my bag, like if I'm out and about and I'm hot, but I have a different one for that that has uh, charging brick capabilities. But anyway, I like this one because it will sit on a table they have them in different colors, different styles, and you just recharge it. I don't know how long it will go. 
and I don't think the cord is quite long enough to keep it running all night, but that's fine. I just need it to go to sleep, really. And do I need it? No, but do I enjoy having a little bit of air movement and some white noise? Yes. So I probably could find a cord long enough and let it just run all night. But I thought that was perfect for vacation. And then also, I just wanted to try one of these. I don't think this is gonna go for vacation, but definitely if I went to the beach, I would bring it with me. And it is one of those rechargeable neck fans. I gotta remember where the plug is. It was in a very bizarre spot. Well, there we go. So this is also rechargeable. And it blows your air in your neck, but also up the back of your neck, which I think is pretty darn fantastic. If it's a hot day and you're outside at the beach, you can put that on. It has three settings and it is also rechargeable. And you get airflow from in here as well as up the neck, which was nice. And the charger is in the box. I think these are all micro USB. Or I lost the charger. I'll find it. It's around here somewhere. And I have a million micro USBs. Okay. Then I bought this for outside. And I got a three pack. Uh, mostly because I wanted more fullness. Sorry for the crinkling. But from my, over my front door, I wanted, and I need to hang this out, but I wanted some summer greenery. Also, I could use it in here if I wanted on my mantle. There we go. I just thought this was super pretty. And honestly, it is pretty full. But can you imagine like two of them together? So I grabbed some this greenery you get in this pack. I got three. They come with some little white flowers, and I thought that was fantastic. And they're reasonably priced. I know, right? Um, the other thing I thought I ordered, I thought I was getting one of these, but I got a whole bag. I'll give them away. They are for your like Stanley cup or any of your water bottles. They're a lid. So you put for your straw, you slide that down on the straw and then this goes on top and they're just little Mickey Mouse donut looking things. And they come in all different colors. Yep, so I thought they were cute. This one I believe would be Toy Story. So they're all different. They may all be toys. No, they're not because here's a Minnie Mouse. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm not up on my Disney. Is that Daffy Duck? Possibly. A straight up Mickey, which is fun. I don't know what that is. And they're all a Mickey Mouse. Isn't this Monsters Inc. maybe? Sully. Yeah. So you get all, oh, that says mini on it. That's cute. It says mini. I like that one. Maybe I'll keep that one. Um, and then you get different minis. And then this one says, oh, I like that one too. And that one just says Mickey. So I like these two for me. Minnie and Mickey. And then you get a regular Minnie and Mickey. Oh, I thought those were fun. And they were like cheap, like a dollar something. So I grabbed those. And then the last thing in this haul that I got was a pig. It's for bacon grease. I don't have a bacon grease container. And even if I don't eat with the bacon grease or use it for anything, it's really not good to go down your drain. This is silicone, so cat fur. But this one here, has a lid, has a strainer even. So you pour your grease, your hot grease in here. It strains out the bits of food and then it holds your bacon grease in there. And then if you're not gonna eat it or use it, you can scrape it and clean this and keep, when it's cool. And it's just a place to store your, I'll just throw it in the refrigerator with my bacon fat. Sometimes I use it to cook, but I thought it was adorable and I've been needing something that I can 
stored in safely because if you pour boiling hot bacon grease into glass you run the risk of shattering the glass this is silicone so it's fine and that my friends is everything that i got this time at shein uh like i said before every oh, i don't know what that is everything is in the description box below and if you have any questions or concerns please reach out to me i will be happy to help you and you have a fantastic day and i'll talk with you later bye